The elections for mayor of Omaha and city council is still months away, but the field, at least for mayor, is beginning to take shape. As on Tuesday, RJ Neary, a local developer and Democrat, officially turned in his petitions to get on the primary ballot. Speaking with the media afterwards, he said the city wants change. The mayor's been in City Hall for 12 years, and as mayor is eight years, and people would like to see somebody that worries about the next generation, not the next election. RJ Neary says people he's spoken with want Mayor Gene Stother ousted, and that he's the person for the job. Well, he was light on details. He says he wants to bridge the gap between West and East Omaha. And we've separated ourselves with infrastructure and separated ourselves just socially and I've always, one of my strengths is connecting people and being a collaborator, and I think I can bring the city together. During the quick press conference with the media, Neary criticized Stothard's handling of a mass ordinance. The mayor uh, let the city council take that responsibility when it, and didn't step forward as a leader. When pressed on Stothard's concerns about her not being legally allowed to issue an ordinance, Neary says that he doesn't know her thinking, but she didn't lead. The med center was begging us to implement these and we didn't get them implemented in time and now it's been the consequences are not just for people getting sick but a lot of our businesses have been hurt. Incumbent Mayor Jean Stothard announced her candidacy in November and is expected to turn up petitions later this week. Along with Neary and Stothard, nine other Omahans have at least received petitions from the Election Commission and have until March 5th to turn in those signatures. On the list, only Stothert, OPS School Board member Kamara Snipes, and Douglas County Commissioner Jim Cavanaugh have held elected office. In Omaha, John Kipper, 3 News Now.